So welcome back guys. I hope you have already solved all the tasks. They must be very easy for you at this stage. Let's move on and try to solve these tasks one by one in this lecture. Let's run this cell to import Seaborn and Matplotlib. So here we have. The first thing he is asking for set style to white. So sns dot if you remember set style function set style and we can pass in white here. If we run this cell so we have set the style to white now. The next one is load titanic dataset tips and iris. Let's load these data sets here. Titanic equal to sns dot load. You can press tab for autocomplete and pass in Titanic. Let's copy this one, paste it here and paste again because we want three data sets. And the second one is tips. Iris tips and iris. Let's run this cell. No error, so we have loaded all these data sets. Let's check the head of all these data sets now. Titanic dot head. So here we have the head for our Titanic data set. So this is what he was asking for. In the next one, head of the tips data set, tips dot head. It's very simple once again. And here we have the head for tips data set. And in next one, iris, iris dot head. So let's run this cell. Here we have the head of our iris data set. So moving forward, recreate the plot below. Use tips data set. Pay attention to X and Y. So our x is day and y is tips. If you remember, this plot is a box plot. We can call s and s dot box plot. Press tab for autocomplete. I'm reminding you again and again, like you can use tab for autocomplete. X is day and y is tip. And our data is tips. And let's run this cell here. So now we have day along x and tip along y. He's asking for male and female as two separate boxes for each of them. We can do this thing simply by passing in hue equal to sex. And if we run this cell, here we have the same plot. We have the same output male in blue, female in green, day along x axis, and tip along y axis. Let's move on. Recreate the plot below. Use tips data set. Pay attention to X and Y labels. If you remember, this is a very simple joint plot. We can simply call S and S joint plot. And what we need to pass in total bill and tip. So our X is total bill. And our y is tip, whereas our data is tips. If we run this cell, here we have. So by default, we are getting a scatter plot. But in this case, he's asking for hex plot. So we need to pass in another argument if you press shift tab. So you have an option here which is kind and default is scatter. Let's copy this one, paste it here, and pass in hex and run this cell. And here we have the same plot. Let's change the side to fit to the screen. Moving forward, recreate the disk plot given below. Use Titanic dataset. Once again, pay attention to y and x. So he's asking for disk plot s and s dot dist plot so we need to grab fail column from our titanic data set so titanic and fair let's run this cell 
So here we have. If you remember this plot, this plot display the KDE as well. So we need to get rid of this KDE line. So KDE equal to false. Let's run this cell. So we are heading towards the output what is required. So the color is green here. And let's rerun this cell. So we are getting the similar stuff what he's asking for. The only thing I can see is the bin size are different. So in this case, bins are actually 20. So let's pass in bins equal to 20. So here we have the same output. So what we are doing, we are grabbing the fair column from Titanic, setting KDE false, color green and bins to 20 in this plot. Moving forward, recreate the box plot below. Use Titanic dataset. Pay attention to X and Y label. Our X is class and our Y is age. SNS dot box plot and pass in X as a class and Y as age. X is class, Y equal to age. And our data set is Titanic. Let's run this cell. So we have first, second, and third classes along X axis and age along Y axis. So we need to split this one to alive, no, and yes. So for this purpose, we need to pass in hue here. Hue is alive. If we run this cell, so we are getting blue for no, they could not survive. Yes, for green, these guys survived in the Titanic incident. Once again, only difference is the color. And this color, what he's asking for is a cool warm. So let's pass in Pele here. Cool warm. And if we run this cell, so we got the same output here. So what we did, we called the box plot, pass in class as X, Y, age, data is Titanic, hue is alive, because we want to have separate boxes for people or the passengers who survived and who could not survive, and the palette is cool one. So the next one he's asking for, recreate the plot below using Titanic dataset, pay attention to X and Y again. So once again, this is a joint plot. So S and S dot joint plot, pass in fair and age. So our X is fair and our Y is age and our data is Titanic. And let's run this cell. So here we have the same plot. We don't need to do anything more than this because he's asking for simple joint plot for X as fair and Y as age for the Titanic data set. So in the next one, recreate the plot below. Use Titanic data set. So our class is along X axis, age is along Y axis. This is the similar plot actually we did before. The only thing we don't need to pass in hue. So something like similar to this one. So SNS dot box plot pass in X as class, Y as age, and our data is Titanic. Let's run this cell here. So here we have the similar plot. The difference is the color here. And this color is actually rainbow. So we can pass in this palette. equal to rainbow with the passage of time you would be easily recognize what color scheme he's using in the plot so you have lots of options to select and you can explore all those options from seabond's official documentation so let's run this cell here and here we have the same plot with same color scheme class along x age along y three boxes for first, second, and third class. 
So the next one is swam plot. Once again, Titanic data set, and he's asking to use factor plot. I hope you still remember the function factor plot. So let's call factor plot here. Factor plot, our x is class, y is age. And one thing you notice that you have a separate plot for male and separate plot for female. If you press shift tab, you have an option here which is column. So these are two columns for sex. So we need to pass in column here as well. Let's try to recreate this plot. X is class, Y is age, data is Titanic, and call is sex. If you press shift tab, you notice that there is a parameter kind, which is by default point. And we don't want point plot. We want swamp plot. So let's pass in kind equal to swamp. So if we run this cell, here we have our output. It looks similar to this one. And the only difference once again is the color scheme. If you can recognize, this one is again a rainbow. Let's pass in Pele here again. So, Pele equal to rainbow. And if we rerun this cell, here we have the same plot. We have recreated the output what he was asking for. Moving forward, can you plot how many male and female were on Titanic? Separate them based on their class. So you have to recreate this plot. So this is a simple count plot here. So let's call s and s dot count plot here. And what he's asking for along x we have sex. So x equal to sex. And our data is Titanic. And let's run this cell. So we have female and male sex and count. But we want class, first, second, and third. We can simply pass in another parameter, hue here, which is class. So we want to split these bars based on class. So let's run this cell. Here we have the same output. What we are doing? We are selecting sex column from Titanic data and passing hue as class. So moving forward, recreate the plot below. Use iris data set. Hint is pair grid. I hope you remember the lecture on pair grid. So let's try to recreate this plot. If you remember from the lecture, what we did, we initialize the pair grid g equal to s and s dot and pair grid with p capital g capital pair grid so the data set he's asking for iris and hue here we have species if we run this cell so we have created the grid let's put the data on this grid now so along the diagonal, we have to put the histogram and along the off diagonals, we need to put the scatter plots. So G dot map diag and what we want PLT dot hist and G dot map off diag. We want PLT dot scatter. Let's run this cell here. And here we have, we have the similar plots. The only difference is we don't have this legend here. So let's call another function here, add legend. So g dot add legend. And run this cell here. It takes time. So here we have, we have the similar plot in the output. So let's move on. And the next one is recreate the plot below. Use Titanic dataset, 
hint is facet grid so let's call facet grid here instead of pair grid so g equal to sns dot facet grid and data he's asking for titanic if you see he's presenting male and female in two columns we need to pass in column equal to sex because we want a separate plot for male and female Let's run this cell. So here we have two canvases. Let's put the data on these two canvases. So G dot map and we want histogram. PLT dot hist. And which column we want to put on age. And let's run this cell here. So now we have uh, something similar to this plot. What is another parameter? He's splitting them based on alive yes and no so let's pass in hue here and rerun this cell so here we have so we have hue equal to alive which is splitting these two plots for yes and no so one thing you notice he's playing with the transparency in this plot as well we know we can set the transparency using alpha alpha equal to 0.5 Let's rerun this cell. So here we have similar plot. The only thing is missing legend. And we know we can add legend using g dot add legend. And if we run this cell, here we have the same plot in the output. We're getting lots of information from these two plots. We are separating them for male and female, and then we are passing hue as alive. So moving forward, Recreate the plot below. Use Titanic dataset. Hint is matrix plot. He is asking for a heat map here. And we need to put these numbers on heat map as well. So if you remember, for matrix plot, your data should be in matrix form. And this is a correlation data, Titanic.core. So we can call correlation function on Titanic data and pass into the heat map. So sns dot heat map and we can do all this thing in single line titanic core and let's run this cell here so here we have a very basic heat map we need to play with some parameters if you press shift tab you had an option for cmap and anote Let's pass in CMAP and ANOTE. So CMAP and this one is once again cool warm. And ANOTE equal to true. And read on this cell. And here we have the same heat map. Correlation of variable to itself is always one which is along the diagonal. Towards red, we are getting higher correlation, whereas towards uh, blue, we are getting lower correlation. So guys, this was all about the C-Bonds exercise lecture. So we are done with the C-Bonds section now. I hope you enjoyed this section. Let's move on to the next section, where we are going to talk about Panda's capabilities for data plotting. See you in the next lecture. Good luck.